All right, this is a bit of an extension question. So we're going to have a look, as in extension within two, you know, not extension one question, but it's a harder question you might have to encounter. All right, so we've got an Australian 50 cent piece has the shape of a regular dodecagon. That's 12 sides, right? It's regular, it's the same size. Eight of these 50 cents coins will fit exactly on a $10 note as shown. What fraction of the $10 note is not covered? So we're not actually interested in the dimensions per se, we're just interested in how they're related. So if I zoom in here to a 50 cent piece, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the distance across it, I'm going to label that, I don't know, D for distance. That would mean that because two of them fit vertically, my vertical $10 note is 2D and horizontally I've got, well there's 4 across, so it's going to be 4D. Right, four times that distance. Now, on any particular coin, if I mark the center and then I connect triangles, what I'm, what's going to happen is I'm going to have 12 of the same triangles on each coin. Now, we just said that it was D distance across. So the one of the triangles has side length half D half D, that's the same all the way around. Now the angle inside is 1 12th of 360, which is 20 degrees. So I'm going to write that up. So in one coin, internal angle of triangle equals 360 divided by 12 equals, what's 20? I lie, it's 30. 30 is the answer, 30 degrees. So the area of a coin is equal to, well, how many triangles are there in one coin? Well, there's 12 times, half times, what's the dimensions of each triangle, the this two sides with the included angle, was half D, or D on 2 times, D on 2 times, sine 30, that's the internal angle between that. Now, if we work it out, sine 30 is actually 1 half. So it's going to be 12 times d squared on 16. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. So this becomes, if I simplify this, 3d squared over 4. Now, area of 8 coins, which fit on the note, is equal to, well, 8 times 3d squared on 4, and that's equal to 6d squared. The area of the note is equal to, well, the area of the note is a rectangle, it's just 2d times 2d times 4d, 2d times 4d, which is equal to 8d squared. So the fraction of note covered by coins, well, is equal to the area of the coins is 6d squared over the total area of the note is 8d squared. Simplify that, that becomes 3 quarters. So 3 quarters of the note is covered. The question is asking how much is not covered. So 1 quarter of the note is not covered by coins. Nice question. Have a think about it. Ask me questions if you need.